this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the magic of the love frequency, and I'm gonna share with you exactly how to tap into it in a very powerful way. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how you can tap into the love frequency and the magic of it when you start to do this. This goes deeper than just that of the law of attraction. Most of the time when people are using the law of attraction, they're creating from their mind. They're creating from their head. And there's nothing inherently wrong with it. However, many times when that happens, there is a sense of duality that is created because the mind has left brain, right brain. So if we create something in our life, we create the potential for the opposite. If it always ends up being a little bit of a double-edged sword. However, the truth of the matter is when it comes to your love frequency, that is who you actually are. That is the authentic part of you. That is who you are in life. Anything less than that is a constriction of energy. And when we see that manifestation in general is about getting into a higher frequency, we see that that's really the key to manifestation. When we look at the old school way of doing it, it's about desire, it's about working hard, it's about all these different concepts, and they do work. It's just that what degree do they work to? Now, when you focus on the frequency first, you'll find that you feel more in alignment. You'll find that things happen more for you because you are allowing this frequency to channel through you. But remember, it's who you naturally are. But the key is stepping from the mind thought creation into the heart. And even if we look at the chart, the heart in the chart that I always show you, you will see that of the different levels of consciousness. And you'll see that of the bottom emotions like shame, fear, guilt. Then you'll see that of anger, the neutrality, which is being able to observe the thoughts. You eventually move up to that of reasoning. Reasoning is understanding that our beliefs create our reality. That's when we're more so feel empowered rather than the world happening to us. We know that we can influence the world in a powerful way. Now that's a very powerful paradigm from four to 500 going and knowing that our beliefs create our reality is a very powerful step. And for many people, it will get them results. However, when you move from the 400 to the 500, when you move from the reasoning into the love, this is when everything begins to change. This is when magic begins to happen because that is a higher frequency state. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to move from the 400s into the 500s. And it's not even really something that I can necessarily show you X, Y, Z how to do because that's the linear mind. And like Einstein said, you cannot solve a problem from the same level the problem was created. Now, ironically enough, Einstein calibrated at 499, very close to the love frequency. Now, in order for him to completely transcend his consciousness into that of unconditional love, he would have had to let go of the intellectual ideas. Because when we get to understanding that our beliefs create our reality, we play around. It's fun. But here is what happens. There is a certain point when we realize that every truth is but a half truth. Meaning, whatever we believe to be true is reflected back to us and whatever we believe to be true is true for us. Which means that all truths are true depending on the person's perception and perspective. However, there is no real inherent truth for every single person on the planet when it comes to this intellectual understanding. So even Einstein himself, if he would have let go of all the intellectual ideas that got him so far, he would have, he brushed up and was right next to them. He's even talked about love before. Now love is the fabric of the universe. It really is who we are. There are just different degrees to which we allow love into our life. If we want to move from this 400 state into the 500 state, it is about understanding and having the awareness and seeing beliefs for what they are. You may say to yourself, well, I see myself as able and I believe I'm able to make $55,000 a year 
Therefore, your reality is equal to that belief and that subconscious self-image. But then what happens is you become aware of that self-image and you say, well, that's a limiting belief. I'm going to see myself now as making $80,000 a year. And if you align your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions to that of the $80,000 a year version of you, then you will create that reality for yourself. However, you can see those beliefs as just vehicles for getting you from one place to another place. Is that the actual truth? No, it's a vehicle. Because eventually you're going to see yourself as able to make over $100,000 a year. And you're going to desire more. And when you do that, you will then have to let go of that belief. So the beliefs aren't even true or untrue. They just simply are. The never, it's a question of is this belief real or true? It's is this belief useful? Remember that. Is this belief useful? Because then you start to detach from this true, not true, realities fixed, not fixed way of thinking. Now, the magic of the love frequency is that when you move from the linear type thinking of this has to happen, this has to happen, there's a blueprint in the mind, when you let go of all of that and you just simply move into being and moving into the heart center, that's when things begin to change. If you want to transform your life right now, what you could begin to do is to live more from the heart. And to do so, even right now as you're watching me, as you're listening to me, if you could just put your awareness inside of your heart center, put it over your hands and into your heart, just get your hands, put it over your heart, put the awareness in your heart center for just a couple seconds right now. And I invite you to just imagine that there's energy inside your heart, which there is. And the HeartMath Institute has shown that the electromagnetic energy of the heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. So knowing that, put the awareness in your heart right now and imagine that there's a sphere of energy that is emanating from your heart. Now right now, just this little exercise that you just now did, you have increased the toroidal field around your body, you've increased the energy around your body, and you've increased the energy inside of your heart. If you do this consistently, your life will begin to transform because you will be coming at more at your core and you will be transcending the mind and going into your heart. This is where powerful manifestation happens. In order for us to go from the 400s and the 500s, what is necessary is to move from the mind into the heart because the truth is all truths are true. Whatever you believe to be true will be reflected back to you. Whatever you think you are worthy of, you will experience a reality that reflects that worthiness back to you and people will treat you accordingly. But the moment you move from the head of understanding that self image, all the thought processes and you let it go and you just emanate more so from the heart is the more your life will begin to change because then you start to move from having and doing, which is the paradigm of the 499 and below, I've got to have something, have a certain level of knowledge, I got to do something specific to become successful, I got to really, really desire it. When you move from that into being, your life will begin to transform. This is another aspect of love. The universe is a part of you. You are not just a drop in the ocean. You are also the ocean in the drop. What this means is that when there is something you desire, if you get into the feeling emotion of love, the universe will work for you. The universe will help you in the process. Now this is what you do. You stop trying to have the mind do it all. The mind wants to do it all. Mind needs to figure it out. And trust me, I get trapped in this little thing too. Because the Aaron, Aaron's ego has gotten him so far. Aaron's ego has gotten him to the place to where he's become successful on YouTube. But paradoxically enough, it's not really just Aaron's ego. Aaron's ego had to make the choice to make a daily video to put everything he had and treat YouTube like his full time and then YouTube became his full time. 
And the more Aaron aligned with this, the more amazing things started to happen in his life. So the thing is though, is a lot of that though was he's passionate about doing that of videos. So because of that, he's able to get into a flow state when he does videos and that's when things really start to happen because he allows more of that love frequency into his life. But the trap is not to get to identified with the ego and with the reasoning and with the intellectual and with the linear I did everything. Instead, what I could do, shift the perspective back now, is I can give it up to my higher mind. I can trust the universe to help me in the process as long as I'm aligned with my heart when I do this. Because when I make YouTube videos, I have an intention of adding value to people. I understand that we're all one consciousness, so the more value I add to other people, the more that comes back to me anyways, but it also feels good to give to people. It feels good to make these videos right now. I get up in the morning, I make these videos, I'm in a flow state, it feels great. It is a sign to me that says, hey, this is what you're meant to be doing. That's when we move from having and doing into being. Another aspect of the love frequency has to do with passion. When you're in doing what you're passionate about, you are closer to that love frequency. Like do what you love, do what you're passionate about, those words are interchangeable. I love making videos, I'm also passionate about making videos. You may notice with my hand gestures, my eye movement, the tonality I use, I'm very passionate about what I do because I love this. And I'm passionate and I love this, it's all interconnected. So do what you're passionate about and you doing what you're passionate about is a form of self-love. Because you are saying that this is what I'm meant to be doing and what I want to do myself is more important than what other people want me to do. Because many people live trying to live up to the standards of other people and other people's standards is for them to do things they're not really passionate about. You should go get this type of thing and do this for a living because I approve of it. But if you aren't passionate about it and you continue to live that, then you're only doing yourself a disservice. When if you were to show yourself that self-love and you were to embody it and it was something you're passionate about, then the universe will begin to support you and you get out of the linear thinking and into the heart. Get out of the mind and into the heart. This is a magical state of being to be in. And the more you let go of the intellectual, the more you let go of how things happen is the more things can happen in a more magical way. Let go. It's a paradox. But if you look at that chart, you'll see the, the lower emotions and then you see neutrality. In order to move up past the lower emotions, you have to neutralize it. You have to be able to observe it. Then we get up to that of willingness and then reasoning. And in order to get to love, you have to once again let go of the paradigm of reasoning. Doesn't mean you don't, you know, aren't aware that your beliefs are creating your reality, but you get more from letting the intellect run your life and you get more into the state of being, more into your heart, more understanding of how you are meant to be and going from be into being versus having and doing. This is really a magical state of being because when you get out of the linear, then things can happen for you in a much more spontaneous and synchronistic type way. Because the blueprint of the mind is not saying things have to happen in this specific way for me to be happy. And that's when we really begin to come into this alignment. But if you want a simple exercise that you can do today for this process, is to put your hands over your heart, to imagine a ball of energy inside of your heart, imagine it spinning clockwise, Imagine it spinning faster and faster and the faster it spins, the more you feel this love energy inside of your heart. And as you do this, you begin to increase the toroidal field around your body. And what then begins to happen is you go from your head and into your heart and you start to feel more love than ever before. At first, if you just feel it a little bit, that's okay. Keep doing it because what it will do is it will increase the energy inside of your heart and eventually that will become your momentum. That will become your natural set point. This is how you move into a magical state of being. It's when you're giving yourself that love. It's when you're moving from the intellectual ideas into the heart, from having to doing into being. 
And in order to do so, let go, observe, give it up to your higher mind, let your higher mind do things for you. You'll feel, you'll feel inspired to do certain things. So it's not like you're like, well, I'm just gonna sit over here and I'm gonna tell and ask my mind to, to get all of this stuff for me. And normally then when you're doing is you're asking the mind for things, you're, you're, you're asking from the mind for things that don't really satisfy the soul. It's like, well, okay, well I want a Lamborghini, so I'm gonna ask my higher mind for a Lamborghini, but you don't really want a Lamborghini, you want the emotion that comes with it. And maybe you do. I'm not here to say that materialism is bad. Of course, we're still having a physical experience, and there could be things that can enjoy, we could enjoy from it, but if you're really grounded in love, you might find that some of the things you thought you wanted were things that your mind wanted. And get into your heart and you'll find things that are much more fulfilling that you can actually give yourself permission right now to feel grateful for and then you start to attract more and more into your life. And the paradox is that you might actually attract the Lamborghini, but it'll be from a different energy, less of a neediness and more of just a beingness. Get out of neediness and into beingness. That's where the power is. So in order to do so, head into the heart, having and doing into being, let go of the intellectual ideas. Any belief or self-image you have is just a vehicle. It is serving you right now. The question is not, is this true or untrue? The question is, is, is this useful or not useful? If it's not useful, let it go. Give up your manifestations and allow your higher mind to show you other aspects of how it could happen. Allow things to come into your life. Still get inspired to take action. They may say, your higher mind may say, go over here, go do this. You may feel inspired to do so, still do that. But you are then aligning yourself with the energy of your heart frequency, which is where the power is. So, something I'm gonna be doing is more live Q&As on Instagram. So if you wanna ask me questions, if you want to interact with me, I also post daily content there as well. You will see Instagram right here. Other than that, one more thing. Can you push add notifications to the next door when you see the, the subscribe button? The way YouTube does it now is you won't see the daily videos unless you push that button. So I have a lot more stuff coming. I think that the, the uh, type of content on my channel has really taken another, another paradigm shift. So if that's something you wanna see, the daily videos of those, go ahead and click there as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like it. If you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, much love, and namaste.